dear student today my topic is Brundish adsorption isotherm in this a graph are drawn between extent of adsorption and pressure of gas which is represented as x upon m where x is the amount of adsorbate and m is the mass of adsorbent when the extent of adsorption of a gas per unit mass of adsorbent depend upon the pressure of a gas then it's called Frundish adsorption isotherm. For example, this uh, molecule is the gaseous molecule which is, which is represented as X and this is the solid surface. M is the solid surface or the adsorbent which adsorb the gas molecule. For example, if we apply the pressure, more we apply the pressure, more the gaseous molecule get adsorbed. So we draw the graph where xm is against pressure. We, if we just uh, move from this region to this, so at low pressure x upon m is directly proportional to P1 uh, that is at low pressure. When we come at intermediate pressure it uh, x upon m is directly proportional to p1 upon n n is a integer or any whole number now at high pressure x upon m is directly proportional to p so between 1 and 0 or uh, p naught we have fraction that is p1 upon n this is the main Frundish isotherm so initially that is when reaction get started or gas get adsorbed then x upon m is directly proportional to p1 finally when high pressure is there then x upon m is directly proportional to p0 or p0 so between 1 and 0 there is a fraction that is 1 and 0 we have this fraction if the available surface decrease as the gas molecules get adsorbed on the surface when gas molecule get adsorbed the surface get decreased because the surface occupy already the gaseous molecule and no surface left for adsorption of more gas molecule on the surface and this situation where no more gaseous molecule get adsorbed is called saturation pressure at the saturation pressure amount of gas adsorbed is equal to amount of gas deadsorbed and after saturation pressure no extent of pressure take place as equilibrium condition occurs that is incoming of gaseous molecule becomes equal to outgoing of gaseous molecule so at the low pressure x upon m is proportional to p if we just remove this proportionality um, sign then we get constant k which is the slope this is the slope this is the k and pressure is take place at x axis and x upon m take place at y axis so in this way we plot the graph and at high pressure x upon m is, is equal to k p naught p naught is equal to 1 so we have k uh, x upon m is equal to k which is constant that is why the uh, this uh, curve is becomes constant it uh, neither be increased nor be decreased it becomes constant now at intermediate pressure it becomes a polynomial function of degree 1 upon n where x upon m depends upon the power of pressure uh, pressure which lies 0 to 1 so x upon m is equal to k p upon 1 upon n where n is an integer and can be taken as any whole number and this its value is depend upon the adsorbate and adsorbent now come to limitations of Frundish isotherm the equation given by the Frundish is purely empirical. Empirical is what? Verifiable by observation and experience only rather than the theory or a pure logic. It has no theoretical support behind it. Next is the curve obtained on plotting a graph is 
of a straight line only at low pressure. At high pressure, they show the slight cur curvature. Therefore, an equation cannot be regarded as an universal equation to explain the phenomena of adsorption. Now, at constant k and n are not constant. These two are not constant in the true sense because they depend upon the temperature. Next is, it is unable to explain the kinetic or speed of adsorption. So, my question is for today, what is Lundish isotherm and its limitations? Thank you.